Hello everyone, this is Zia Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve a differential equation from higher order linear differential equation. So, let's get going. Problem. Solve d square plus 16 into y equals to e power minus 3x plus cos 4x. Solution. Given differential equation. d square plus 16 into y equals to e power minus 3x plus cos 4x. Here the highest derivative is d square so our order is 2 and the highest power of the highest power of the highest derivative is 1 so our degree will be 1 or we can just write this as d square y plus 16y equals to e power minus 3x plus cos 4x we know that differential operator equals to d by dx and d square equals to d square by dx square then you can write d square y as d square y by dx square plus 16y equals to e power minus 3x plus cos 4x identify the highest derivative here d square y by dx square is the highest derivative so our order will be 2 The highest power of the highest derivative is our degree. Degree is 1. Now, coming to the problem. We are given an equation which is in operator form. And also this is in some f of d into y equals to q form. Right? Which is in operator form. f of d into y equals to q where f of d equals to d square plus 16 and q equals to e power minus 3x plus cos 4x. Now we need to find the general solution of the given equation which is given by y equals to yc plus yb where yc is a complementary function which is obtained by roots of the auxiliary equation of the homogeneous equation of the given non-homogeneous equation simply take RHS to 0 then you'll get f of d into y equals to 0 which is a homogeneous equation of the given non-homogeneous equation and you can find yp using 1 by f of d into q. So firstly, let's find complementary function using the auxiliary equation of f of d into y equals to 0 is f of m equals to 0 where f of m equals to, so you're having f of d equals to d squared plus 16. So let's find f of m by replacing d by m in f of t then you'll get f of m equals to m square plus 16 then our auxiliary equation becomes m square plus 16 equals to 0 now we need to find roots we have auxiliary equation m square plus 16 equals to 0 we can find m that is roots in two ways. Firstly, we can write m square equals to minus 16. Then m equals to plus or minus square root of minus 16. Then plus or minus square root of minus 1 into minus 16. We know that square root of minus 1 equals to i and square root of 16 equals to 4. Then you'll get plus or minus i into 4 or plus or minus 4, right? Or, right, this plus as minus or minus, right? Minus into minus is plus, right? So you can write m square plus 16 as minus or minus 16 equals to 0. Then m square minus, we can again write minus 16 as minus 1 
into 60. Since we know that i square equals to minus 1, then you can write minus 1 as i square into, and also we know that 4 square equals to 16, so replace 16 by 4 square. Okay, we are going to replace 16 by 4 square, then you get i square into 4 square equals to, okay, m square minus i square 4 square equals to 0. Alright, you can write some a square into b square as a b whole square. I'll write i4 as 4i for my convenience, which is in a square minus b square form. So you can write m square minus 4a whole square as a plus b into a minus b. Now equate each factor to 0. If you equate the first factor to 0, say m plus 4i to 0, then you'll get m equals to minus 4i and if you equate m minus 4i to 0, you will get m equals to plus 4, right? From this you got m equals to plus or minus 4, right? Since m equals to minus 4i and plus 4, right? We will get the same thing. So we got m equals to plus or minus 4i. Therefore, m equals 2 plus r minus 4i are the roots of f of m equals to 0. That is our auxiliary equation, which are complex conjugate. We have only imaginary roots. There is no real part, right? If a plus ib is a complex root, then the conjugate of this is a minus ib. If a minus ib is a complex root or complex number, then a plus ib is a conjugate of a minus ib, right? Now take a equals to 0 since we don't have any real part. So let's take it as 0. Then minus ib is a conjugate of plus ib and plus ib is a conjugate of minus ib. So there is nothing wrong in calling plus or minus 4i as complex conjugate. Right? Or you can just call it as imaginary roots. Imaginary. Since there is no No real part. So we can call it as directly imaginary roots. Fine. Now we can write complementary function if a plus or minus ib is a root then e power ax into, then you can write y as yes, e power ax into c1, one constant into cos bx plus c2 sin bx, right? Now coming to our problem, we can write y c equals to e power, you don't have anything, right? So e power 0 is x into constant into cos 4x plus sin, another constant into sin 4x. e power 0 x is e power 0 into c1 cos 4x plus c2 sin 4x. Since we know that e power 0 equals to 1, then you'll get 1 into c1 cos 4x plus c2 sin 4x, right? If you want, you can write like this, 1 into terms under brackets is equals to c1 cos 4x plus c2 sin 4x. This is a required complementary function. Now let's find particular integral.
know that particular integral is given by 1 by f of t into q, where f of t equals to d square plus 16 into q, e power minus 3x plus cos 4x. can split this 1 by d square plus 16 into e power minus 3x plus 1 by d square plus 16 into cos 4x. Now we'll find each term separately. We are having yp equals to 1 by d square plus 16 into e power minus 3x plus 1 by d square plus 16 into cos 4x. Okay. Let's name the first term as yp1. And second term as yp2 for our convenience. Let's find yp1 firstly. So this is in 1 by f of d into e power ax form where a is a real number. So for a equals to minus 3 we have to find f of minus 3. We have f of d equals to d square plus 16, right? So, let's find f of minus 3. Replace d by minus 3. Then you will get minus 3 whole square is 9 plus 16 equals to 25 which is not equals to 0. Since f of minus 3 is not equals to 0, so what we can do? We can replace d by minus 3, right? Because we know that f of minus 3 is something positive. What happens if it is 0? Then you will get 1 by 0 into e power 3 minus 3x three which is undefined. Okay. If f of minus 3 is 0 you will get undefined. That is the fraction will become undefined if you replace d by minus 3. Since f of minus 3 is undefined sorry is not equals to 0 then we will replace d by minus 3 or simply 1 by minus f of minus 3 into e power minus 3x which is equal to 1 by 9 plus 16 into e power minus 3x which is equal to 1 by 9 plus 16 25 into e power minus 3x since we know that f of minus 3 is 25 right into e power minus 3x. We'll get the same answer. So therefore yp1 equals to 1 by 25 into e power minus 3x or e power minus 3x by 25. Now let's find yp2. One by f of d into cos x, right? This is in one by f of d into cos ax form for a equals to four. We have d square equals to minus a square. This is a formula, right? For a equals to four, you'll get minus four square, which is equals to minus sixteen. Now let's see. What happens to the denominator if we replace d square by minus 16? We will get minus 16 plus 16 which is equal to 0. So we can't replace d square by minus 16. Right? So what we will do? We will write 1x into 1 by find the derivative of this. That is if f of d equals to d square plus 16 f dash of d equals to 2d plus derivative of constant is 0, which is equal to 2d, right? Derivative of f of d is 2d into cos 4x. Now, you can write this as x by 2 into 1 by d into cos 4x, right? If d is a differential operator, 
then 1 by b is inverse of the differential operator that is integral. So you can write you can write the above as x by 2 into 1 by d into cos 4x which is equal to x by 2 into integral of cos 4x into dx which is equal to x by 2 into since we know that integral cos ax dx equals to 1 by a sin ax right then you'll get 1 by 4 sin 4x we are having yp2 equals to x by 2 into 1 by 4 into sin 4x which is equals to x into 1 x 2 4 is 8 sin 4x or x sin 4x by 8. Therefore yp2 equals to x by 8 sin 4x or x sin 4x by 8. Now coming to yp. We are having the results of yp1 and yp2, right? So let's replace them. Then we'll get yp equals to result obtained from yp1 is e power minus 3x by 25 plus result obtained from the yp2 is x sin 4x by 8 right this is our y now we can write the general solution the general solution is given by y equals to yc plus yp then y equals to complementary function c1 cos 4x plus c2 sin 4x plus yp e power minus 3x by 25 plus x sine 4x by 8 which is the required solution. So we have seen a problem from higher order linear differential equation in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then. Bye bye.